Hey there guys and welcome to Voy, a very small indie game which is a puzzle game and I believe you are based in a temple in this kind of first person perspective and you've got to find your way out by going through this environment, solving the puzzles and getting out. So it's my favourite type of game, a first person puzzler. I don't know much about it at all. What I do know is that these rooms may not be what they seem and we may be seeing puzzles in the style of, say, games like Antichamber, games like Standpoint, games like Manifold Garden, games that mess with perspective. So, we've spawned here, we've got this little door behind us and we've got this door ahead, so let's go ahead, why not? Can, we can jump, but... So far, so good. I'm just gonna head this way, maybe. Oh, and look, the doors are the wall has already closed on us, and the mind games have already begun. So, what else we got here? Looks like we've got a door with a switch. I'm gonna press E on that and open that up. Looks like I've got another one. I may be going. this way. <laughs> Again a little bit confused about which ways I'm coming and going. Alright there's another door here though. Okay that one has been opened up so we can continue along this path. Alright so we've made it to a, like a bigger room now and there are switches here so I'll be interested to see how we get up these places. Hmm. It's got some weird patterns on the floor. I mean, and there is that there. Let's see. I mean, I can press this switch. Okay, so we're br pretty much raising stairs right now. Alright, more stairs. So far, so good. Nothing too crazy yet. And there we go. And I guess we can continue along the path. Alright, so we've got more doors. Doors that we can't actually go in. Looks like we've got a massive tunnel pit into the abyss there. Ah, oh, Why? So now we've got... Oh, I can't press this button anymore. And I can't get through anything. Oh! <laughs> that kind of works. So I need to go this way. I liked how the switch was hitting on the ceiling there, so I guess I've got to pay attention to my surroundings a little bit more. Didn't see that immediately. There's another one here, look. Um, I'm just going to head down here quick. Oh, this door is closed, so I'm not going to head down there quick at all. I don't know what that one did. Aha. So it looks like I can maybe jump across this. I think I can sprint. There we go. Okay, we've got another switch in here. And we've got one door left to go for it, looks like. I feel like this is going to screw me in some way. Don't know why, I'm just waiting for it. But we got through it okay, and then we've got another one more switch it seems. And there we go. We've opened up every door. Oh! Oh! And now we're back to where we started, but this time that door has been closed. So it looks like we've got to kind of get through all of these doors maybe. That's an interesting concept. So we've pretty much got to climb the temple. Oh god, what we got going on here? More switches it looks like. And it looks like we've got some kind of uh, code. So it looks like it's going to be... One. Two. Three. Three. 
The old musical note switches. I'm liking it. Okay, looks like we've got another one here. Okay, I'm not tight. Can I actually get in here? I mean, I can get in here. Does that switch down there? Raise stairs. That does raise as a platform at least. There's got to be another one in here, right? There it is. So this is the first one. What's the next one? This looks like it's the one with the this one here. And then the middle one. There we go. So pretty straightforward puzzles, you know, nothing too crazy. This is the simple stuff. Okay, we've got four symbols now. This is where it gets interesting, I guess. Alright, so let's hit this one. Okay. This one looks like it's a little bit bigger. Oh, what's this? These damn hidden switches, man. Alright, let's not have got another one here, though. Oh, was it that one next? Yeah, that one. Okay. That one. That one. And then finally... This one, right? There we go. Hmm, looks like there's a bunch of ways to go now. Oh, look. The wall is just the the hall has disappeared from that one. Okay, that's a bit of a mind fuck. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely seeing that antichambers type stuff now, but uh I believe this is the way we need to go. Okay. That one's gonna raise. Best guess we're just building a bridge. Then this one. And then the last one. Alright, pretty straightforward stuff. And now we ascend to the third section of this place. It's like there's what, five in total? Or maybe four and an exit, I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Oh. Oh. Okay. Kind of gone a bit snowy now. Oh, come on. This is like exactly like Mind Path to Thalamus, these puzzles here. Just based on the reflections, like where to go. That is like blatantly mind path to Valamas. Blatantly. I'll take it. I'll take it. If I can take the antechamber style walls and not knowing where to go, I guess I'll take the uh, mind path to Valamas style puzzles. Okay, we've got more switches. And it looks like we're going to have to base it on the floor plan here. What the hell is that thing? Is that a switch? What is that? Oh, that one's fell off something. Oh, it's fell off the wall. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So... I don't know if I can actually get on that. Oh god, I felt I've fallen onto something. Yeah, I think I'm screwed. I think I'm going to have to come back. Alright. So that's the one we need to get first, and I'm trying to figure out... Okay, let's go this way... One... Okay, it's that one at the back I need now. Right? No, it's not that one at the back I need now. 
start one there, I need to know. But hey, we're still okay. I guess we can just run across here. Okay, and then it's that one there. Got to make sure I'm on the right path here. And then of course that one here. And then I need to, I guess I could just drop down, but hey, we might as well just follow the invisible pathways. There we go. Kind of straightforward again. Nothing too crazy. I've been playing Mind Path to Phalamus, so I'm kind of used to this. But I'll go through the door. What is this? What is this? Is that water? Okay, interesting. Very interesting, in fact. Oh, is this... Is that one invisible? Okay, so... I mean, it looks pretty straightforward, right? It's one... Two... Three... And there's one here that I can't see. But I'll press it. <laughs> Alright, you know, kind of straightforward stuff. We're doing okay. Another area down. I'll take it. This may be the last area. It looks like there's one more above us, but I don't know if that's just the exit. What the hell? What is this? There's a giant hole. Some kind of giant pit. You know what? Let's just drop in, I guess. Hmm. Interesting. Not sure what I'm doing here. Oh. Now I've completely gone into a different world. Sort of. Huh. Okay, that reminds me of a game as well. A game named Parallax, which is a puzzler about going through different worlds, black and white. And now we've got three different areas to go, and it looks like they all branch off into different paths. Uh, let's go right, why not? I mean, who knows if I'm on the right track here. Okay, we've got something else here. Okay. 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 So there's like different things. So we need to get three of them. So it's square shape first, and then whatever's after that. So it's that one in the middle. That one. So it's this one, that one, and then the one on the side. So one. Two. Yep, and then this one, three. There we go. Doors opened up. Now I guess we'll carry on here. Okay, more bells to ring. Got to say, this game is uh, very appropriate for uh, being near Christmas time. A lot of bell ringing. Got this crazy snow effect. Um, this is interesting because I don't know. Huh. Okay. I mean... I'm seeing the symbols. But I don't know what order I need to put them in. You know? Is there, there's not even an order on that door. What the hell? That's confusing. 
I've no idea which way I'm going now. This is I'm starting to get a bit mind fucked. The mind fucking is happening happening right now. We've managed to avoid it mostly. I may be lost in this maze. I may be lost. I'm trying to see what the damn order is here. There's no order on this door, you see, so like what? Do I go from low do I go from my low to do I go across? There's no specific door code, it seems. Which is odd. Usually there is. Um Unless I've missed it, I mean, I don't see it. Alright, let's go from low to high. So let's do... This could be wrong. Like, completely wrong. I don't want this one yet. Oh my god. Ah, this is the one I want, I think. Or not. Yeah, this is the same one I've just come out of. Yeah, I don't want that one. Don't want you, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't get to the middle one. There's got to be a way. What am I missing here? Oh, we know there's a way. It's just fucking getting there and there's a maze of like looping hallways. Here we go. And then like the last one. Which is this one, right? There we go. Alright, so it was in that order. Unless you just have to ring them all. Maybe I'm just completely missing it, <laughs> but we got through the door, I think, at least, so hey, I'll take it. It don't matter what order. I just did from like right to left, like from furthest away from the door to closest to the door. And it looks like we've got on to the last area. So let's see what awaits us in this final room, it looks like. Oh shit. Oh. Cubes everywhere. Did that door just close behind me? Yes it did. I'm walking into the darkness I think. And there it is. Small little indie game there. Boy. Pretty cool game. I enjoy my time with it. I'd like to see more of this type of stuff. You know, I love these kind of first person puzzlers. This is just another interesting concept. It kind of throws in elements of like a bunch of puzzle games I've already played and uh, kind of puts it into one game. I did like the simple aesthetic of it being kind of black and white. That's some pretty good ambient sounds. But yeah, enjoyable overall. I would like to see it kind of developed on and see more go into this because it is an interesting concept and I'm always open to more first person puzzle games which kind of mess with your kind of surroundings and uh, stuff like that. So yeah, definitely worth checking out. You can pay what you want for this. The link is in the description below. Worth checking out if you like your first-person puzzle games. Thanks for watching. 
and I'll see you next time, guys.